In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the different ways that the pan controls work across three different DAWs, because the differences that you're going to see perfectly illustrate the difference in function between a stereo pan control and a stereo balance control. Here we are in Studio One. I've got a clip, and uh, you can see the waveforms on each side of this stereo clip are very different. On the left-hand channel, we've got a synthesizer. On the right-hand channel, we've got some drums, and they sound like this. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pan control and we see the tooltip come up, it describes it as a pan. If I pull it left, we only hear the synthesizer. So we come back across, we hear both in the centre. As I go across the right, we only hear the drums. That's an important difference. Let's see if things are different in Logic Pro. Here we are in Logic Pro, we have exactly the same clip as we just saw in Studio One. And if I come down to this pan control down here, and uh, I pull it over to the left, we hear something different. We can still hear both channels. Their positions have changed, but they're both audible. Going over to the right, we hear the converse, and we hear a change in position and of spread as well, which is what's being indicated, the stereo width being indicated by that green surround, which you can manipulate directly. So, we hear something different. Okay, what happens if you right-click on here and you get this option to change between pan and balance? If we go again in balance, we hear what we heard in Studio One with only one channel audible at a time. And what we're hearing here is it's, it's, it's similar to a crossfader on a DJ mixer where we're crossfading between the two channels and the, the one we're panned away from, if you like, disappears and becomes inaudible. So we have the option of both in Logic Pro. And also with the help of this context menu, we're seeing that uh, the one that we heard that was labelled in Studio One as, as pan is actually balance. And we've got the option of both here. Returning to Studio One for a minute, uh, here we are in version six of Studio One. And if we return to this panner, if we double click, we see that we've got the same options that we just saw in Logic Pro. So we can change things over to a dual panner and get a identical functionality. And we have a binaural mode, which we won't refer to here. But the default in Studio One is balance. Let's see how things are in Pro Tools. And here we are in Pro Tools. So we've got this familiar loop which sounds as you'd expect. Rather than going into the mix window, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click over here and open up the floating fader. Uh, so we've got what we need right here. And we can see that we've got two individual controls on this stereo track. So this is a stereo pan. There is no balance option in Pro Tools, but the stereo panning is really flexible. And I'll show you a few tricks that you might know. To begin with, both over to one side, both over to the other side, both in the middle for mono, spread them out for stereo. Uh, you can click this here, which is like a link thing, and then what you get is you get nothing like that, but if you do this, they link and they move together, which is kind of useful. like so. There's also this here. This inverts their behavior. This is really useful. I use that far more than that first option of just linking. And like this, you can change the width or even invert the stereo image, which is kind of useful. Uh, something else as well, actually, is if you've never clicked here before, maybe you should. What you get here is you get the, the meter for, well, in this case, the uh, master fader meter. Uh, master faders are always there whether you've created them or not. And with this, it's quite nice because you can see very clearly what's going on. But what we do here throughout is that familiar behavior of hearing both the left and the right hand channels regardless of where we place the, uh, the, the pan controls because we're using stereo pan, not using stereo balance. That is the difference.